Technology has redefined the way we organize ourselves and the way we seek information for almost anything and everything. Smart devices have now come to a stage wherein they help us design our lives the way we want to. One amongst the proud owners of a Galaxy Note 3 is Miss Nana Chopra, who has just moved to Delhi from Bangalore and works in a digital agency. Hello. Hi. So listen, tell me, what was the name of the book that you were telling me about? Yeah, hold on, let me just write it down. Without hunting for a pen or paper around, Nana pulls out the S Pen from the Galaxy Note 3, double taps the screen and activates Action Memo. She simply takes down the name of the book that her friend just told her on the phone and not worry about where she wrote it down because it's just there with her always on her phone. So she simply writes it down and then saves it. Yeah, okay, thanks, I got that. I'll call you later. Bye. Now Nana just got the name of the book and now she's excited to buy it. But before she buys it, she basically wants to look it up online. So she opens up the memo again, taps on link to action and then taps on the browser to look for search results for that book name. Now she scrolls down and goes to Amazon search results. She quickly reads through the description of what the book is about and being totally convinced, she wants to let her friend know that she's gonna go ahead and buy it. So she opens up the pen window. And with a square gesture, she can draw a box wherein she can open up any application that she wants, for example, WhatsApp, and let her friend know that she's actually going to buy that book. As excited as she is, she goes to Kindle and opens up that book that she just bought. Now while reading, she really likes something that she read. So she taps the button on the S Pen and draws a square around that particular text that's really of interest to her to store it into her scrapbook. So she basically draws a rectangle around it and then taps scrapbook where it goes inside the scrapbook content. She can now create a category and she can name the category whatever she wants. For example, points to remember. This content gets stored on the phone and Nana can look it up anytime she wants and even share it with her friends. Nana religiously follows her blogs and loves to read them. She often uses Flipboard to follow these blogs. Now, let's see what she can do with the Galaxy Note 3 while she's reading and say she really likes this article. So she taps the button on the S Pen, opens the Air Command menu, and then launches Scrapbooker. Now Scrapbooker is something that she can use to simply circle on the content and store it with, within a certain category and with some tags. So, you know, tags could be relevant uh, tags that relate to the context. And you can use those tags to later search for these articles uh, that you store in your phone. Now, if you're someone who is like Nana, who reads a lot of content, it could be on the browser, it could be on Flipboard, it could be any third-party app like Pulse. Scrapbooker really helps you gather all that content together and you can save it in one particular location and you can refer to it anytime you want. The best thing about the Galaxy Note 3 is the S Finder that helps you look for that content anywhere on your phone, whether it, is, whether it resides into an application or it resides in my files, or it resides within Flipboard, or even handwritten notes. So when Nana searched for mouse, it showed an article that had the tag as mouse. Now Nana can share it as an image and text with her friends through applications that support sharing, for example, Twitter, WhatsApp, Gmail, or SMS. So she shares it with her friend Aisha that she spoke to a little while back. The Galaxy Note 3 is thus a true reading companion. It helps you organize your notes, your thoughts, your content, and even lets you share it with your friends. Design your life. <music>